All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. Today I'm showing you my max effort upper body workout of the week. I went with some close grip bench press with a slight pause at the bottom and some accommodating resistance in the form of doubled mini bands. I don't really know how much tension this is giving right now. I think if my math is correct, it's about 30 pounds a side. Sorry, not if my math is correct, if I remember correctly. From my chart, it's about 30 pounds a side, maybe 25 pounds a side. So I worked up doing triples, and then once I was done with the triples, I then just did another single just to see what my strength was, and I was pretty pleased, pretty pleased. Here I am with two, what is that, 240. For some nice quality sets, the, the pauses are good, the explosion off the chest is good, and the lockout is good, even with the accommodating resistance. So... Pressing is getting stronger. Obviously, what I'm doing is working. So here's the heaviest set of the day. Let's see what I do here. It, it, it looks, it's good. I probably could have done more. That's a good rep. That's a solid rep. All right, then I took off the bands and did as many paused reps as I could. The fatigue here caught up to me really quick. For some reason, taking off the bands made it harder because I can't even understand to begin to understand why it was harder, but it just felt harder without the bands, even though the overall weight was lighter, even from the first rep. And then I went into some paused incline, two sets of 10. This is great for building up your pecs, really, really great. Some people debate on whether you should touch your chest or not on the incline bench. I will make this in a video. Uh, if your limb lengths, your limb lengths will dictate if you should touch or not. Someone with really long arms with a narrow grip might not have to touch their chest. Someone else might have to touch their chest to get the same gains. It's all relative. I like touching my chest. Some people like going an inch away. I just like touching my chest. I find if it started hurting my shoulders, then you know there's an issue. But then... Eh, this is a topic for a video altogether. I'm not going to make it about this. So, jam press. Three sets of 10 plus. I believe on my first set I did 15 reps, and then I did 12, and then I did 10. I love the jam press. Now, there will be a video coming soon on how to do a jam press. Some people might be looking at this right now saying it's wrong. Some people might say, oh, this looks beautiful with a tear in their eye. But I will show you in that video how to do a jam press. Great for building up lockout strength and just overall tricep mass. Then I wanted to hit some more triceps. I did some tricep pushdowns. Three sets, 15 reps. Some sets I did more. And I like to get the long head in there by stretching out completely. Just get a more full tricep contraction. Then some cable rows, four sets of 15 from a high angle. This is very unique the way I'm pulling from here because you don't see many machines like this that have a foot rest. You could do it at a standing cable station, but after a while you will get pulled forward unless you have like someone to hold you or some way to anchor yourself down. Then I did three sets of 20 with dumbbell rows. I like high rep dumbbell rows. I like heavy dumbbell rows. I just like dumbbell rows. Dumbbell rolls are a great way to build your back. And then I finished off my workout with poundstone curls. Now, what poundstone curls are, You, the original way is to just get an empty barbell and do 100 straight reps without letting go of the bar. I just like to do it as many as I can. So here I did 50 reps. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.